All right, so once again, we lost. And realistically, I really want to go in in, But the reality of the situation is the GOAT known as LeBron James didn't play. So whenever one of your superstars don't play, you really, really, really can't put too much into a loss. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not full throttle. And realistically, when you win and you don't have one of your best players, that's actually, you know, an accomplishment. So with that being said, I'm not going to get crazy disrespectful in terms of what I seen and what I didn't like. However, we lost again. We lost five out of the last six. You know what I'm saying? We lost to the Mavericks. We lost to the Spurs. We lost to the Knicks, the Bulls, and now we lose to the Timberwolves? Come on, like, where is the urgency? Where is it? And I'm not going to sit here and say that we didn't play hard because I felt as though that we did play hard. We just didn't get the W. And this game and this league is all about Ws, right? So at the end of the day, yeah, we, we, we put some effort in, but... We still came up short, and we came up short not because the other team was better than us, but because we wasn't the best version of us. You feel what I'm saying? So it sucks when you lose because the, the other team ain't better than you. You just ain't the better version of you. Like, come on. We had mad turnovers. Then down the stretch is really where it got bad because in the third quarter, we tied it up 70-70, and then we let them go on a run, right? We ended up coming back. Taking the lead, right? We took the lead. And then they come right back the next play and they take the lead back and they never gave it back to us. So that lets me know that we was playing good enough to be in the game, but we just needed to execute and make a couple of adjustments in order to get over the hump. And I will say that down the stretch, I like the way Darvin Ham uses timeouts. I'm, I'm, you know, no, no smut there, you know what I'm saying? Anthony Davis with another monster 30 point game. But like Austin Reeves, you know, he you know he added on his his dub. You know what he do. He put 20 points up like in his sleep. We got points from Ruri. We got points from Prince. You know what I'm saying? Russell was struggling in the, in the first half. He came out. Second half, he was cooking. But we just couldn't string together enough plays to create that momentum. You know, to create that vacuum that we need. And to me, that's an issue. You know what I'm saying? Cam Reddish, I feel like he's still getting into the mix. He's still playing hard, but he's not really, he's not at his full potential. I think when he reaches his full potential, we really, really, really going to take off. And the reason why I say that is because every team got like a nice core. Most teams got like three players. Though They're going to score the bulk of the points, right? And some teams, they don't got three. Some teams got two, and then they got two other players that equal like a third. But the reality of the situation is after you get outside the first three players on your team, you need one or two more players that just consistently show up, right? So when I'm looking at Prince, when Prince is consistently putting up 14, 16, 12, right? Really 12. You really just want that 12 mark. But the 16 is kind of like, you know, that's when you're getting bonus, right? So if we can get Cam Reddish to that 12 point with the D, we get him hitting four threes a game that in, in the defense that he's playing, that's that next level. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, Rui Hachimura, I really like Rui. I really think Rui Cabal is just that he's just been inconsistent ever since his injury. So I'm saying, like, if we could get him, you know, in that 12 spot and get Cam in that 12 spot and keep Prince in that 12 spot, now we got 36 coming from three players, and we know we're going to get 20, 40, 60, 70 points from LeBron, Reeves, Anthony Davis. That's 100. That puts us at 106 every game. That's where we want to be. And then you get your, you know, Vanderbilt with four points. You know what I'm saying? You might get Hayes with four, Christian Woods with four, right? You get the you get the, the extras, you know what I'm saying? And not to mention the, the Monster Knights when Anthony Davis has 37 or LeBron has 35, you know what I'm saying? When 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 Reeves, Anthony Davis, and LeBron combine, you know, for a 90 piece on those nights, now we really looking good. Now we we putting up the 120, we in the 130. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to get to. We got to get to that mentality where everybody is leveling up. So although I do want to talk really, 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 really bad about us losing five out of the last six, this this loss wasn't the, the, the worst one. It wasn't. They had all of their superstars. They had both Rui, uh, Rudy Gobert and Carl um, uh, Anthony Towns, right? And Anthony Davis still put up 37. 
So we not complaining there, but it's just like when you play a young Spurs team, even though, like I said, they they had lost like 15, 16, 17 coming into playing us. So, you know, they they was looking, they was home before when it was kind of like the odds was in their favor in terms of the universe, right? Like the NBA guys was like, yeah, it's time for y'all to get a win. Like kind of like the Detroit Pistons. The Detroit Pistons are going to beat somebody. They're going to be like the Suns or somebody. They're going to be somebody good and everybody going to be like, what? They're going to be like the Celtics or somebody. You're going to be like, what? Yeah, like you lose 19, 20 in a row. One day everybody comes in like, yo, let's win this game. And it'd be the game that you don't expect them to win. I know because I used to like, I used to, you know, like play fan duel and stuff. And then those be the games where I get smoked, put all my eggs in the other team. And then, you know, that bum team end up scraping us. But nonetheless, we talking about the game, right? And, and, and let's just talk a little bit more about how the flow went. We started off the first quarter once again, giving up 36 points. I told you, if we're giving up 30 in the first quarter, the other team's mentality is that they can score at will. And I'm going to be honest with you, they had a couple players on their team that felt like they could score at will. They had like Nas Reed. He was like letting them fly. Like he like just disrespectful. He only had nine points, but I, like the confidence was disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Who else they had the McDaniels kid? Like this is why we got to nip that ish in the bud off the rip. You know what I'm saying? We got we got we got to hold a team to 18 points in the first quarter. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for us to hold a team to 18 points in the first quarter. Like yo, y'all not y'all not scoring 80 today. Now you let them score 40 in the, in 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 the final stretch, but like. The, we just got to come in with a different mentality. Like, I felt like when we was playing in that in that in-season tournament run, we was playing with a purpose. We was playing with a mission. We was playing with tenacity. And I'm not seeing that. Like I said, Austin Reeves is cooking. Anthony Davis is cooking. Anthony Davis is playing hurt. He's playing back-to-back. -back. I told y'all yesterday when I recapped the, the, the game from the Bulls that Anthony Davis might not play. And out of nowhere, LeBron James didn't play. I'm like, I don't remember LeBron ever being hurt the other game. Like, he on, he had, a, like, a triple-double. He's like, one rebound or assist shot of a triple-double. When did he decide not to suit up? When did he get hurt? You know what I'm saying? Like, but Anthony Davis really been trucking it. He really been out here balling. You know what I'm saying? Like, he out of control. You know what I'm saying? I, I like what I see from Anthony Davis. And you know what you're going to get from LeBron. Only thing I will say about LeBron is... Maybe it's his old age, but he tends to slack on certain defense, you know, defensive possessions. LeBron, be, he, he, he don't be on this man. He be sleeping. He be looking for that steal so he can get that highlight. <laughs> That's what he be looking for. But nonetheless, overall, um, we just got to get better. You know, um, Gabe Vincent didn't play again. It is what it is, man. We got to get it together because it's not looking good. We got to find a way to dog out some wins. That's what I want to see. I want to see us dog out some wins. Because like I said, out of these five losses that we recently took, Dallas Mavericks, no Kyrie Irving. The Bulls, no Zach Levine. Those are the two we should have won. I should be talking about we three and three. Three and three ain't that bad. Five and six? We lost five out of the last six? That's bad. I'd rather us lose three out of the last six, three and three. But five out of the last six, that's that's bad. Like, we need some urgency. So this next game, I'm thinking that, like, if you're a gambling person, you probably should put your money on the Lakers, even though, I, for a word from the wise, they say never bet on a losing team, and we are currently a losing team. Um, really not all that upset. As far as stats, you know, we're getting to some team stats. We, we, we shot pretty good. We shot, you know, 50 from the field and, and 40 from the three. Those are good stats. Like, you should win games when you're shooting 50 and 40. But we had 17 turnovers, right? And then we, we gave up some offensive rebounds in the fourth, right? When we needed to, 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 to draw that momentum, we needed to pull that momentum together. We wasn't able to do it. Like, we really wasn't able to draw it together. So, like, as a team, that's something we got to work on because turning over the ball, like, we're professionals here. It's four quarters. Let's say we give you four quarters. Every three minutes, you turn the ball over. That leaves you with 16 at the end of the game. If you're turning the ball over every three minutes, that's bad. You need to not turn the ball over every three minutes, right? You want to keep them really under double digits to be really efficient. But if you're 12 and under with three a quarter, that's cool. Four quarter, we don't like. We don't want four quarter. Just like we don't want them to score more than 30 points. But in terms of you know the block party. Oh, yes, DJ Anthony Davis, the beats are still bumping. And guess who decided to come in and do a set? 
Your boy D'Angelo Russell, he had three blocks too. He said, oh, you got three blocks? Well, I got three blocks too. I'm going to match you. Yeah, so the block party was bumping, and, and we shot like almost 80% from the free throw line. So, you know, you really can't complain. And all in all, like I said, we play good. We just need to play great. You know what I'm saying? Because we the Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Greekers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we got to play. Like, yeah, whatever. You, you can hate all you want. It's LA Nation for life. And, and I'm going to be back on the next one. And hopefully LeBron play, everybody play. And if we don't get that W, yeah, I'm, I'm not having it. I mean, you shouldn't have it either, man. Peace.